Hello, Directory Assistant. I need to talk to Kay. This is Directory Assistant. What number? I need to speak with Kay. She's an operator there. Uh huh. I need to speak with Kay. She's Directory Assistant's operator there. There's no way I could get a hold okay. of Kay. I need to speak with. I need Kay to give me a number there. Mm hmm. In Iowa and Council Bluffs. Okay. Okay. I need to speak with Kay. I can get you the number in Council Bluffs. No, I want Kay to give it to me because I know you guys work on commission and everything. And, and no, we don't, want, sir. I want Kay to get paid for the for the for giving me the number. There's no way I can get a hold of Kay. I have no idea even who Kay is. Kay's an operator there. And you're, she's there. Stand up at your desk and yell for Kay. There's no way I can do that, sir. There's there's operators all over. There's Kay, no way. No, yell. Um. Sir, we have several different floors in our building of operators. Do you have an elevator? Can you go up there? No, I cannot do that. I cannot leave my position. I can transfer you a supervisor. I need Kay. Is she in the break room? There is no way I can get anything, sir. I, need I can get you this number. I want Kay to give it to me because I want her to get the commission. It's we don't We don't work on commission, sir. Nothing against you or anything. I just want her to get the commission. There is no commission. We don't work on commission, sir. Kay said there was commission. Then Kay she didn't know what she's talking about. Sir, no, Kay's my friend. She gave me a number yesterday. That's fine. I can understand that. At the same time, she said she'd be working today. She might be, but I'm not sure who Kay is. <laughs> Her name's Kay. She likes me. I can still get you a number in Council Bluffs. But it wouldn't be the same, you know? There's. I don't know who Kay is, sir. I can't help you on that. All right. Well, I, I guess I'll go then. Okay. I, I don't... I, I do want... I, this won't be the same, you understand? I, I can understand that, sir, but I, I don't understand what you mean by commission, because we don't work on commission. Oh, she says you do, and besides that, it's just the, just the whole emotional thing. I want Kay to give it to me. Okay, I'm sorry, sir. That's all right. Maybe I'll try back later and she'll answer the phone. That's possible, but it, it's kind of hard telling. We have uh, operators all over, all like over. in Des Moines and things, and it's hard telling which operator you actually got. But it's possible, because Kay likes me. That's true. Uh-huh. All right. Well, I'll try back. Okay. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you. You're listening to The Snowplow Show here on Frank Coolmation. We'll call landlords and customers causing massive aggravation. Who is not a hobo? He is your host. He drinks for loco with his jelly and Hey everybody, you're listening to the Snowplow Show. This is episode 780. Today is November 3rd, 2022. And this one's sponsored by Lord and Lady of Veggies, Plaz, Brennan, Jamie F, and Fun Society Arcade. Alright, on the last show, I forgot to mention that there is a Kickstarter for the vinyl record. The one that I'm putting together as a Phone Losers of America vinyl album. If you want to pre-order the record, or just support it on Kickstarter, there's a link in the show notes or in the description of where you're watching this, hopefully. And it'll let you pre-order a vinyl record of prank calls. The Kickstarter has already surpassed its goal, so the vinyl is definitely getting made, but it was going to definitely get made anyway. So if you want to go support the vinyl record, go do it. If you don't, there probably will be leftover vinyl records after I ship all these Kickstarter things out. So don't worry, there's still going to be some vinyl available next year. If you're too impatient to wait until next year for vinyl, you can get a vinyl right now of Vista Blues Snowplow Show vinyl record. I think there's still some available. I haven't checked in a while, but I'll put a link to those in the description too. All right, this intro is too long. Time for some phone calls. Hello, this is Jesse. Hey, Jesse, this is Kevin from the <laughs> apartments. Hi, Kevin. How can I help you? Uh, well, we've been, um, you know, occasionally we go through, uh, you know, just the, the Wi-Fi traffic around the apartment building, and, and we hack into okay. the Wi-Fi and, and see what's going on with people. And we've hacked into okay. this lady's computer, and we thought it might be at your house. Um, she's sitting in the living room, and she's naked. Would that be at your place? What? In the world? Sorry, what? No, this is this is very strange. You you hack into people's Wi-Fi? Oh yeah, all over the apartment complex, just to make sure they're not up to anything weird. And you know, we we can look and through all the, we can look through all the, all the all the files on the computer and look at the webcam. 
Yeah, it's very strange, Kevin. Why, I don't know why you. Why would you do that? Well, cause we don't know who this lady is, and we thought she might be in your apartment. She's just kind of hanging out, just chilling out in the looks like in the living room area, and she doesn't have any clothes you, on at all. You're you're with you're with the apartment complex that I belong to. Yeah, all those apartments. How can I be certain of that? Um, I don't know. You can call me back if you want. I was just trying to get some help, though. Like we're we're just calling up everybody, because you know all our all of our apartments look basically the same inside. So we're trying to figure out who this lady is, because I don't think she's supposed to be on the premises. I don't think she's a. I mean, wouldn't 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 you know which apartment is which? Uh, no, no, we're just hacking into the Wi-Fi, and that's all wireless, so that could be anybody's laptop hooked up to the Wi-Fi. We, we, I, I really don't know how to help you, Kevin. I'm sorry. Like, yeah, we we don't own crazy. the Wi-Fi. We, we we just we just uh you know use our hacking tools and hack into it. Now we you got, hack in. Yeah, now we get this lady sitting here. And we've looked all through her computer. We don't see any uh, identifying documents in there that tells us who she is. I, I mean, honestly, Kevin, if there's a, a naked woman inside there, that's, that's pretty messed up that you're you're kind of spying on her. Yeah, well, I, I'm she just wa- be in her apartment naked. Yeah, but we don't know who she is, and we know what all of our tenants look like. And this lady does not live here, so we're we're just we're going door to door. Would you mind if we went in your apartment and just looked around and made sure she's not in there? I mean, you're with the apartment complex, I guess. You you probably have the keys already to get in, don't you? Yeah, yeah. We have to give twenty four hour notice. But do you mind if we just go on in right now? I mean, there's my dog there. I mean, is is he friendly? I, I'm so I'm, I'm really. I'm really confused because I don't know why you're calling me for this. Well, we thought it might be in your apartment because it's right nearby there. You know, we've got our, our hacking antenna. It's pointed right at your apartment. And uh, we, huh. we've just got this lady that's just, she's, sitting, she's actually smoking a cigarette inside her room. And, you know, you're not really supposed to be smoking in those apartments. Yeah, that's, that's very strange. We don't want to have to give you a fine. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah, maybe I can uh, investigate it a bit further. I can I can come home right now if it's helpful and uh, see see what's up. Because maybe someone did break into my apartment and well, got all naked and started smoking a cigarette. I don't know. Yeah, well, not, now it's a little weird that you want to go home and and try and catch a glimpse of this naked girl in your apartment. Yeah, I mean. If there's someone in my apartment that you know about, I mean it's concerning anyway. Well, we don't know that we don't know that it's your apartment. Are you a clean person? This looks like a clean apartment. Well, I mean, if you hacked in, you should at least have some idea of who's in there and what apartment it is. Well, no, I don't. I, how would we know which apartment it is? The apartment numbers on the outside of the door. You, I mean, you're claiming to belong to the apartment complex, so you you would know that. I would. How would I know that? We're just hacking into the random Wi-Fi's all over the apartment complex. So you're not even with the apartment complex. You're just kind of doing this on your own. No, yeah, I I th- I work for the apartment complex, but we always hack into the Wi-Fi's just to see what's going on with people. Because we yeah, gotta... I, I would call the apartment complex and and figure out get some more support from them. Cause I, I don't think I could be any help here. I am the apartment complex, you idiot. Well, honestly, if if you know, you're looking to get some more information about whose apartments or what. The the complex that you're working with should be able to give that to you. Yeah, they're not going to know what the apartment number is. All we've got to go on is oh, what what will. it looks oh, like on their will. webcam. Apartment number. How do you know which apartment I stay? Yeah, if you don't know the apartment number, how do you know which one I stay at? Why don't you tell that and lady in the background just to shut the fuck up? Why don't you do your motherfucking job then? I'm trying to. Mine. I'm trying to. Well, this, this, a- this asshole, job, clearly, this asshole on the phone won't, won't help me out. Kevin, if you know the information, Kevin, you would know what the fuck it is then. You would know all the information. You would know what apartment it is. You would know who it is. You would know all the information. If you work at the complex, you should know all the information. You don't know how you hacking know. works, lady. Well, if I don't know how hacking works, I know I know I know all my information. If I'm gonna hack into some shit, I'm gonna know all my information and back all my information up. You sound real dumb right now, so you might as well just hang up the phone. Jesse, that woman of yours, that woman of yours needs to shut the fuck up. Kevin, this is very professional, and I honestly am, am a little bit disturbed by your phone call. Um, the fact that you're hacking into Wi-Fi, 
is is concerning, and you know, it, it's not something I signed up for for my with my apartment. So okay, we're just trying to figure out who this with, naked I'll, lady is. That's all. Yeah, I'll take it. Up. I'll, no worries. I'll take. I'll take this up. I'll, I'll take. I'll take it up with the apartment complex. Kevin. Shut the fuck up, lady. Is, you can just shut the fuck up. This a number to call you on. Uh, this yeah, yeah this, this is my uh, direct line. Okay, Kevin, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, be in touch. Make sure you hush that woman of yours up before you call me back, okay? She, she's super irritated. So I'm calling up numbers in the prank request today. That was one from Next Door Nick. Just some random guy that rents an apartment, and now he thinks he has a naked burglar inside his apartment. Hi, Dorothy? Yes. Hey, you called me back again. <laughs> Who is this? Oh, it's uh, Roy from the trailer park. Okay. Uh, I was just trying to find out um, if you know who this naked lady is. What? Oh, we've been hacking in. We've been hacking into the internet Wi-Fi's all over the neighborhood, just to make sure. Uh, just to make sure all of our our guests are not up to no good. Um, you see a naked lady where? Um, well, she's got her laptop open, and she's hanging out in the living room of her trailer, and we don't know who she is, but she's completely naked right now. We're watching her. You're watching her? Yeah, I'm watching this <laughs> naked lady on her on her laptop, and she's just sitting okay. there, and she's smoking a cigarette, and I don't think she lives here, so we need to get rid of her. Is that somebody in your, yeah, you is that somebody in your tra- trailer? Uh, no, just me and the dog, and we're both dressed. Huh, okay. Well, if you see any strangers running around there, like walking around, especially okay. if they're naked, uh, maybe you give us a call here at the office. Sure will. What's your name again? Uh, this is Roy. Because we know what all our residents look like, and I don't think this lady even lives here. <laughs> send me a picture, I'll let you know. You want me to send you a picture of this naked girl? Sure, I'll see if I recognize her. Okay, just here on this phone number, like I can just send it, send it to you? Just text yeah, it. This my cell phone. All right. I'm going to send you uh, several different angles of her. <laughs> okay. I, I've been watching for hours, so I have a bunch of different angles. Oh, my God. You've been watching for hours. Well, it, we're trying okay. to figure out who she is. Like, I don't think she's supposed to be here. Well, okay. Send it to me. I'll let she, you know. Are you sure she's not a guest of yours? Because she's right over there in your area on that the Wi-Fi in your area. Nope. I don't have any guests right now. Hmm. No naked guests. No naked guests. All right. All right. Send it um, yeah, I'll send you those all those photos. There's going to be about oh. a dozen of them. Oh, I don't need that many. Okay. Well, no, I've got some of her bending over and stuff. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. That lady's a pervert. I'd called her earlier, and uh, then she tried to call me back, but I didn't pick up in time. Then she called me back again. And I finally got to talk to her. Yay! I wonder if I could be Sensei Doug in a uh, shopping center and say that I'm hacking into the local Wi-Fi's and there's a naked girl in the back room, it looks like. Why is she naked? Please leave your message. I'm really concerned about all these naked girls, you guys. Every time I hack into somebody's Wi-Fi, there just always seems to be a naked girl sitting there smoking a cigarette, which may or may not be against the policy of her rental agreement. So Jack here. Hey, Jack. It's Roy from the yep. Homeowners Association. Okay. Yes. Uh, I I was just trying to find out. Um, like we've been hacking all the Wi-Fi's over there by in your neighborhood. Uh, just making okay. sure all the residents are on the up and up, and they they don't have anything weird on their laptops. And uh, okay. I've, I've hacked into this one laptop, and it's the laptop's open, and the webcam's on. And this girl is sitting in there naked, and we don't know whose house it is. Do you have somebody in your house that might be naked on their webcam right now? No. The kids aren't home yet. The kids? No, this isn't a kid. She, she's a, an adult. <laughs> My oldest is 12. I'm not watching kids. Naked kids, sir. <laughs> I, I don't appreciate the insinuation. No, I understand that. But no, there is nobody in this household of... of female adult age other than my wife who's downstairs right now in the kitchen is she Definitely naked not naked oh, okay no nope. yeah this person's absolutely. like in the living room area nope absolutely not and there's nobody in this house like that okay we're just trying to figure out who this is because she's you know she doesn't live around here and if she's staying with somebody she shouldn't be, just be hanging out in their living room naked all day nope i agree but not in this household no okay you haven't seen anyone uh you know walking around outside 
that you're unfamiliar with? A uh, negative. What you, is this call about? This if, is weird. If you do, can you ask her if she's the naked girl that was sitting around in front of a webcam in someone's living room? I'm just, hanging up now. I don't know who you are. We've got to figure out who this is, sir. I don't. Not my business. There's a, there's a stranger in our neighborhood. Hello? Hi, hi Kevin. Yes. Hey, uh, this is your neighbor. It's Roy. I, your I work, neighbor? Yeah, I work at the Home Depot. The one right behind. Oh yeah, the one right behind your house. Okay. Hey, can you stop throwing your shit over here? What am I throwing over? Well, you know, just all your shit. You just kind of go up to the fence and throw your trash into the parking space. I don't throw nothing over there. What are you talking about? Oh yes, you do. I know you do. Can you please just not do that anymore? I've never thrown anything over there. I've always kept an eye on things. Why don't you tell your trucks from knocking down the wall? It's going to be falling down on my property. You want to talk about problems, pal? Well, is that why you're throwing your trash over here? Because, you know, that's not... not, (laughs) What did he say? The trucks are knocking down the wall? Let me try him right back. Hey, listen. Listen here, buddy. I got got a camera in my backyard, and I'll bring it over to you and show you if I threw anything in your backyard, in in your alley. No, you'll you'll probably prove, won't. prove I did it. Prove I did it. I got the camera in my backyard showing your trucks doing U turns and hitting the fucking wall. So uh, I don't know who you are to call me and tell me to quit throwing my trash. Show me a picture, baby. Oh, we got pictures. <laughs> Jeez, I don't know. This fence looks pretty straight, or the wall. I don't. Maybe it's a concrete wall. It's hard to tell. But this guy could just walk over to the edge of his lawn. And dump shit right on top of a bunch of parking spaces behind the Home Depot, which is kind of awesome. They should put a dumpster over there for him. And that idea was from Next Door Nick. I couldn't just not do that idea when he told me there's a Home Depot behind his house. So thanks for that, Next Door Nick. Hello? Hello, who's this? Well, who are you? Who are you? You damn weirdo. Don't call me up and ask me who I am. You're the one yeah, calling me. Hammer. Nice try, bitch. Oh, nice try. now I remember you. Oh, it's my ass. I'm going to fuck your dad and give him a child you always wanted, bitch. Okay, that's nice, honey. And then he just hangs up. He got me good. Hello? Hey, Jos- Hello? Joseph? Yeah. That's Greg from the Homeowners Association. What's up? Uh, well, we've been, we've been hacking a bunch of uh, computers in your neighborhood. You know, through their Wi-Fi, and we're trying to figure out if this computer we're in is yours. Uh, do you have a lot of music in your iTunes, like that's gangster rap and Disney soundtracks? This is a really weird phone call. I'm actually having a job. Can you call me? Can you call me a little bit later? Uh, sure. Well, I mean, is that your kind of music? Did you leave your laptop open today? We're just trying to figure out whose laptop. Shoot, he hung up. Close the chain. Hi, Jane. It's uh, Grega from the Homeowners Association. Hi. Hi. Hey, we've been uh, hacking a lot of computers in your neighborhood, you know, through their Wi-Fi. And we're trying to figure out if this computer might be yours that we've hacked into. Like, do you have a lot of gangster rap and Disney soundtracks on your computer in your iTunes? Who are you from again? I'm with the Homeowners Association. We just we hack into the Wi-Fi's all over the neighborhood just to make sure, you know, everything's on the up and up. And nobody's up to, up to no good. That's not legal. Well, no, we're the homeowners association. If you look in, it doesn't matter. Well, no, we we wrote a rule in there that said we're it's okay for us to <laughs> hack into uh, people's computers. And no, it's not. We're like, do you know if your computer but would it be? You need to send that to me. You need to send that to me. Oh no, I'm sure you got it. Like you signed the paper. No, this, I'm sure I have. They said we can hack into your computer. No, that is totally untrue. Okay, so this oh, is this is your God. this is your computer. I, I then? need for you to. I need for you to verify your information. Ma'am, listen, is that your computer? The oh, one no. with gangster rap and Disney soundtracks in it, in the iTunes. Oh my God! I'm not answering your questions. Okay, well, and I need to. What is your name again? I'm able to see into your house with the 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 laptop's webcam, but it's just pointed to a wall. So would that be your house? You are ridiculous. What are you talking about? This there she goes. That's my job. I'm supposed to do this. What does she think the HOA does all day?
Hi, this is Valerie. Hey, Valerie. It's Grega from the <laughs> Homeowners Association. Yes, hi. Hi. Hey, um, we've been doing some hacking in your neighborhood, you know, on the Wi-Fi, uh-huh. like getting into people's computers and stuff. And we're trying to figure out if this computer is yours that we've hacked into right now. Uh, do you use your address cards as recipe cards in your computer? No. I'm, you're, you hacked into my computer? Well, we thought it might be yours because it's in your neighborhood. Uh-huh. But we we just weren't sure because, uh, you know, we we look at the webcam and the webcam isn't pointed anywhere useful where we can identify you. Or yeah, who- I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, okay. Well, uh, uh, yeah, we, I we, mean, what do you want me to tell you? Well, we, we just, we hack into the computers all over the neighborhood just to make sure everything's on the up and up and nobody's up to anything bad. Really? Is so, that legal? Um, well, we wrote it in, in, um, you know, in our rule book, like in our terms of service here for the HOA. Really? So yeah, you signed a paper that said we can hack into your computer. Really? Yeah. Could you walk no in front idea. of your computer? I'll have to go back and read it. Yeah. Could you walk in front of your computer right now and I'll see if this one is you? I cannot do that. I'm not home. Oh, darn. Okay. Well, um, maybe when you get home. I might start yelling at you through your uh, your computer speaker and telling you to, you know, come over here, come over here. When I hear you get home, I'll be listening for right. you. Right. Right. I'm not going to do that. No, I don't think this is. Uh, what's your name again? Uh, this is Grega from the Homeowners Association. Greg what? Uh, Grega. How do you spell it? A G-R-E-G-G. Okay. Greg. Well, no, and you're it's, from it's, the Homeowners there's, Association. There's two G's. So it's Grega. You're Grega. All right. I'm not going to do anything for you until I can verify that this is legal and you guys are doing this and I'll have to read the uh, bylaws or whatever. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure it's legal. We just go through all okay. the files on someone's computer and just try and figure out who they are. And, that just doesn't sound legal to me. Thank you. And is your computer, does it have your name on it? Because we can't find any name on this computer. The lady thinks she's a damn lawyer. Hello? Hello, is this Nathan? Yep. Hey, I'm your I'm your neighbor here at the condominiums. Yep, uh, what can I do for you? Oh, well, I built a, a panic room in my condominium. I'm just a few doors down from you. And uh, a few of the video feeds in my panic room, they are showing video feeds from your apartment in my panic room. So I think you've got something wired wrong over there. Say that one more time. Uh, you know, I, I made a panic room inside my condominium, like a hidden room that, that nobody knows about. Okay. And, you know, there's a bank of uh, TV monitors on one of the walls. And it's showing a couple of video feeds from your apartment. And what's the video feed of? Uh, just of your living room and right outside your door. So do you think you could wire those properly so that I'm not looking at your stuff? Because I'm not really interested in looking at your stuff on my video monitors. What's your address? Um, I'm on drive. And what's the address? Well, I don't understand what this is called. And what's your name? I'm in the same building as you. I'm just, I'm at a four, four drive. I've been pranked by one time by somebody who said it was on my street. So I just don't know if it's a prank. Well, I, wouldn't, I'm just, I wouldn't prank you, sir. I'm an adult. I, I live here in the building. Okay. What do you mean they pranked you? What'd they do? I don't know. Someone said they were my neighbor one time and they were. So you're on, in my building, in your panic room, you have a camera that shows inside mine. If we're in the same building, how does your camera show inside my house? I don't know. I think you have something wired wrong over there. It doesn't, I don't understand. Our, our, if you're in my building, it doesn't even make sense. Well, do you have a panic like, room? Could, like, it's okay. I don't I, know what I, a panic room. What's a panic room? Um, well, you know, somebody, if you, if you have home invaders, like, coming to your house, you can go into the panic room, and they won't be able to get you. Because you're in a sealed off room with a bunch of video monitors. Uh, can I call you right back? Is this your phone number? Yeah, yeah, this is my phone number. 
So I'm like, gonna call you right back. So you must just have your video feeds crossed up. My what's my video feed? I don't know what that means. My I, video feed. I don't know. You must have cameras inside your living room, and you've got them wired wired up wrong, and and I can see inside your living room. Well, so what's inside my living room right now? I don't know. Furniture, living room stuff. I I zoomed in okay. on the mail to to see that it was your what? name. Oh, what? I don't understand. What? I don't understand this phone call right now. Okay, well, uh, I was just trying to find out if, like, maybe you wired something backwards in your panic oh. room. Because I, I just want to use these monitors for my own stuff. I don't want to see your living room in there. <laughs> I don't understand what that means. So your solution is for me to do what? Uh, I don't know. Just go over the wiring inside your walls and. Uh, for what? Stay- my camera. Yeah, your indoor and your outdoor oh. camera. I have outdoor. So what, that doesn't like. What is it? How would that affect? Like, if I have a ring, how does that affect anything regarding you? So I know. Well, your, prank, just... your your doorbell or whatever it is out there, your outdoor camera, it's showing up on my monitors here in my panic room, and and so is the one in your living room. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna help you out in one second, but who are you helping out? Me. Yeah. Once, yep. What's going on? Are you working? You said I was 15, right? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at work right now. Where do you work at? Okay. Thank you. I appreciate it. No, uh, where, do, where, do, uh, where do you live at? I, I'm just uh, a, a few doors down from you. What's your address? Oh, don't yell at me. Jeez. I'm four f- drive. And you need to learn how to wire up your your panic room cameras, sir. Cuz I don't appreciate any of this. I'm just trying to set up my stuff. Your 424? Yeah. What kind of, what kind of car do you have? Well, don't worry about it. Just fix your damn cameras, sir. <laughs> okay? Right, and you were you were complaining about fireworks the other night, weren't you? Fireworks? <laughs> Yeah. No, that wasn't me. Who would I complain to? Yeah, I think you're thinking of the wrong neighbor. Uh, your voice, your voice changer is kind of like acting up right now. That's probably just uh, you know bad connection. Is your mom there? My mom. Why would my mom be here? What are you talking about? She was, she was the last. She was there last time you called me. That's. Well, I've I never remember. called you before. This is the first time I've called you. Why? What did my mom okay. say to you? If you talk to my mom, what'd she say? Yeah, that's what I thought. You, you didn't talk to my mom. You're just making up crazy shit. You're crazy, sir. I can't believe that people have no fucking life. Can you speak up? I can't hear through your shitty boost phone. Well, I'm sure uh, I'll be on YouTube soon, so everybody will hear. So. Yeah, probably. Did you find your uh, your phone call on YouTube last time? Aha, I didn't think so, because you weren't on YouTube. You're just saying a bunch of crazy shit. Hey, tell that guy in the background to shut the fuck up. Please. All right, I'm bored. Bye. I guess that's a guy I have talked to before, which makes it extra weird that he seemed to believe me in the beginning. Oh, look, he's calling back. Hello? Nathan? Nathan? Yes? Hey, what do you call me back for? Understand. So, what is your name? I don't. Fuck, what is your name, Mike? You said. Yeah. Why are you calling me back? Like you wouldn't even Mike talk to what? me before, so I hung up, and what's now you're that? calling me back. What's your What's your last name, Mike? Uh, you don't need to know that. Just rewire your damn wires, okay? And tell that tell your boyfriend in the background to shut the fuck up, please. Oh, we're gonna do this again, where I just talk. And you guys just mumble stuff to each other? Okay, bye. No, no, Mike, what was your address again? All right, I, I'm going to have to stop taking calls from that guy. Hello? Oh, Ken- Kenneth?
Oh, hey, Kenneth. It's your neighbor. It's Roy. I, I live uh, a, few, a, few, a few blocks from you. Over on Drive. Oh, okay. Okay. It's hard to hear you. What are you doing? What can I help you with? What are you doing? I'm working in a uh, vacant home right now, bud. What's up? I ain't your bud, pal. Hey, um, I was in your backyard last night, and I um, I think I left a, behind a stack of floppy disks for my laptop computer. Did you find those back there? You were in my backyard. Yeah, last night about 3 or 4 in the morning, uh, just to get a good Wi-Fi signal. Why were you in my backyard? Uh, to get a good Wi-Fi signal. So I was just wondering, uh, did you happen to find my, it's just a small stack, maybe five or six discs, three, three and a half inch, inch discs. Were you working in my backyard or something? Oh no, I was hacking. I was hacking into people's Wi-Fi's. And I, I left a stack of discs in the grass, I think. Floppy discs. Who is this? This is Roy. I'm your neighbor. You're my neighbor. Yes. Over on I don't think so. Drive. Hmm. What's your address? Son? Um. Well, I'm, I'm a 1999. So did you not find the floppy disks? It was a large, you know, like five or six of them out there. Dude, I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. You don't know what no a floppy disk what... is. A floppy disk is? You've never seen one before? No. no, I haven't. Yes, you have. Come on. What are you doing? Like stealing my hacking utilities? Because I, I put a lot Bro. of work into my hacking last night, and that has all my log records oh, in it. Dude. Shit, you guys. He's keeping my hacking utilities. And my logs from all that war dialing I was doing. Hi, this is Lynn. Hey, Lynn. It's Roy. I'm your neighbor. Okay, try this one more time. Okay. This is who? This is Roy. I'm your neighbor. Okay. I live a uh, few blocks away. Okay. Oh. Um, <laughs> I'm a little confused right now. Okay. How come? Um, because I can't get a face on the name. Oh, I don't Have know I you. you. I don't know you or anything. Um, I was just in your backyard last night, and I accidentally left behind a small stack of floppy disks. You, you were in my backyard last night. Yeah, about three in the morning, three or four in the morning. Clearly, you have the wrong person. Well, no, you don't live at <laughs> drive. Um, so. <laughs> Right. I live on um, drive. What were you doing in my backyard? Uh, I was hacking on my laptop. And, uh, you know, I keep all my hacking utilities on floppy disks just for safety. And I left the stack of them sitting in your yard. Did you find those today by chance? You know, this is a strange phone call. You know that, don't you? Right. Well, no, I just. I, I'm How did honest, you get my phone number? I looked it up on the Internet. Okay. Okay. So we need to back up the bus just a few minutes. Okay. Cause I'm still trying to catch my breath. Okay. Okay. Catch your breath from so, this phone call. So what you're trying to tell me is that you were in my backyard last night. Yeah. I was just hoping you could look back there and see if you see a small stack of floppy disks laid in the yard and I'll come over and get well, them. I'm more just, I'm more disturbed that you said that you were in my backyard. So let's do this okay. before we go any further. Um, I've never, I don't even know. So Roy, you um, never what? Let's get, let's get your name. You've never what? And phone number. You said I've never. You said I've never. And then what? Let's get your last name. Oh no, you were saying I've never. Yeah, I'm what your last name. I know, but no, the the reason you wanted my last name was because you've never, but then I didn't, I, want your last name. I didn't hear I the rest like of it. 
Because I didn't say anything. Could I get your last name? No, you did. You said you said because I've never. You keep saying okay, a lot so of weird I've, things on this phone call. You're being very strange, ma'am. Okay. Well, I'm I'm kind of done talking to you unless you give me your last name. Okay. Well, why can't you just find out if those discs are out there in your backyard? I'm just trying to get my property okay, we're, back. We're done. Are we? Well, shit. I guess we're done. I bet she's getting some slippers on right now so she can go walk around in the backyard and look for my floppy disks. And then she'll see her mistake and call me back. Be like, oh, you were for real after all. I found your floppy disks. Hello. Hi, Michael. Yeah. Hey, this is Steve Dave from T-Bubble. I was calling to let you know we're getting ready to change this phone number, this 5527. Why is that? We're going to be changing that to a different number. I can't keep it? No, no, I'm sorry. I can't keep it? No, I'm sorry. We're going to have to change that to a new number. I accidentally changed it to a new number myself, actually. So I'm confused. I've got to assign you a new phone number, so I'm doing that right now. Do you have something to write with so I can give you your new phone number? Uh, I can just get it off the call ID. It's all right. Okay. Why I got to change it, though? Uh, I was just monkeying around in in your account, you know? Yeah. Uh, Just because there's nothing else going on here. It's a slow day, and I accidentally changed your phone number. Okay. It's in the same area code. You're just going to have a different phone number. Alrighty. And the second to last digit is going to be an emoji instead of a number. What? You're going to have to dial an emoji. It's a new fun thing we do. Like, I think that just completely tips people off sometimes. They're like, phone numbers don't have emojis in them. This can't be real. I don't know why that one was a number change, but... um. I had a note on this one to myself. Oh, it's because Nick requested a number change for some reason. Sorry, Nick, I failed at your number change from way back in May of this year. Here's a call coming in. Who is this? Um, this is Joe. Oh, hey, Joe. Who is this? It's Roy. Oh, I must be your neighbor. Uh, I tried to call someone earlier. I don't think I knew what your name was. Um... Yeah, you call me, You asked about my internet? Oh, yeah. Well, I was hacking into various internets around the neighborhood. I was in your backyard last night. Oh, why were you in my backyard? Uh, well, I was using my laptop, and I think I left a stack of floppy disks in your yard. Just, like, maybe five or six floppy disks. Well, let me look. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, I was, um, ho- I was hoping those would... My... I'm sorry, what? Why were you in my backyard? Oh, uh, I was trying to get good reception. So I was in your backyard. Uh, I was logging into other people's Wi-Fis. How did you get my phone number? I looked it up on the internet. How did you know my last name? Uh, well, I looked it up by your address. On... I don't live on Oh, yeah, no, not but I'm sorry. I'm looking through a bunch of names here. I was doing a lot of hacking last night. Why are you hacking? Well, first of all, I don't see anything. Where would they be? Oh, right right up there closer to the house. It's just a, you know, those old three and a half inch floppy drives, uh, discs, I mean, the smaller ones. And they've got, I mean, I've got handwritten uh, labels on them. <laughs> I don't see him at my house. Oh, darn. What could have happened to him? Do you think an animal took off with him? I would probably say not. But I guess the, the biggest question I have is, why are you hacking into people's Wi-Fi? Oh, uh, I was just seeing what was on their computers. Uh, I've been trying to build up my MP3 collection. And, you know, a lot of people have MP3s on their on their computers, so I'll just download all of their MP3s and I'll fi- find. You would have to know my password. I'm sorry, what's that? You would have to know my password to get into my Wi-Fi. Oh no, no, that's what those floppy disks are all about. Uh, they have hacking utilities on them, and they can get pi- they can get by pretty much any security. Yeah, you know, just well, that's interesting. Just takes a minute for it to you know just kind of bust through, and then I can look at everything <laughs> on the computer, and I can. <laughs> Maybe you got the wrong backyard. You don't have my street name. That's true. 
But no, I looked up your what phone is, number. What does my backyard look like? Uh, I don't know. It was dark. But you have the deck, right? I don't know. What's on my deck? I don't know. I didn't go on your deck. I was just in your yard. Hmm. Well, I mean, so what's your name? Roy. Where do you live, Roy? Um, well, I'm probably not that far away because I don't, I don't venture out too far from the house. I just kind of walk around the neighborhood and I do a lot of hacking. What hack. neighborhood? Are, are you sure you got the right neighborhood? Well, I don't know now because you say my floppy disks are missing. You didn't take them for yourself, did you? There's, there's nothing in that stack of disks that's any good to you. It's just my log files from last night. Well, there's nothing back there, but... Shoot. I mean, I really don't think you should be hacking into people's Wi-Fi. Well, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just looking at their webcams to see, you know, if there's anybody in there. And then I, I get in their MP3 collections, and I download all those into, into my computer. <laughs> well, where exactly do you live? Oh, I'm uh, over on Marlowe Avenue. Marlowe? Where's Marlowe? I don't know. Where am I? I don't know. It doesn't matter. I don't want you coming over anyway. Uh, I gotta figure. I gotta figure out where my discs are now. I mean, where would they be on the grass? Yeah, yeah. I just left them laying in the grass. I was just, I was just sitting out there on my laptop, just hacking. Um. So I uh, mean, I see where Marlo is. You're kind of far away from. <clears throat> I mean, why would you come all the way to my neighborhood? Uh, well, because, um, you know, I run out of stuff to hack in my own neighborhood and the people around here, you know, I've already got all their MP3s. So I just go further and further out into the neighborhood in the middle of the night and hack into people's computers. Just so I have more music I mean, to listen to. We don't really have, I mean, can you hack into, I mean, we don't really have a computer. Okay. Well, I, I didn't say I was hacking into your computer. I was just in your backyard because I was getting a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of good reception back there for the other Wi-Fi's. Hmm. You don't sound like you even listen well, to good music. I mean, I'm certainly not seeing anything here. Okay. So, but I, I am going to call the police. Silly me. And and give them your number. Okay. And tell them what you're doing. Oh, what? Just innocently taking music off people's computers? Well, I don't think that you have a right to, to break into anyone's computer. Well, you know, if I'm a hacker, I do. Because it's, it's easy. You just, put, you just load up the program and it hacks right into it. Well, because you can doesn't mean you should. Yeah, well, I'm trying to build up my, my, you know, my music collection. That's all, my MP3 collection. I mean, you know, you can get that off of Spotify. No, you can't get MP3s off of Spotify. <coughs> Spotify okay. charges money anyway. And they make you listen to ads. Ugh. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, so if you're actually hacking into people's computers, I mean, maybe they have things on there, personal information, that you they don't want you looking at. Oh, yeah. No, I've seen a lot of it. I've got an eye full, if you know what I mean. People just leave okay. na naked pictures and... <laughs> And, you know, letters to each other and uh, tax documents. It's crazy. So what exactly is your name again? Uh, exactly? Why Why did you say exactly like that right after you put me on speakerphone? Well, I've been using my speakerphone the whole time. Oh. You got real quiet all of a sudden. Anyway, don't call the police. This is just a prank call. I got to go. I got other people to call. Yeah, no, I'm calling the cops. Okay, well, make sure you tell the cops that you were, uh, I let you know that it's a prank call, but it's your own fault that you're wasting the cops' time. Yeah, I'll let them determine that. You, you're, you're what? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you over your speakerphone. I'll let them determine that. Okay. Good job, Mr. Uh, Vigilante Neighborhood Protector. He's going to keep the neighborhood safe from people wandering around other people's backyards and hacking things. And here's another call coming in. Okay. Hello? Hi, this is May. I was given your number. Are you Troy? Do you work at Home Depot? Yeah. Yeah, I work at Home Depot. You do? How, how'd you know that? Up here at the 6th Road 
Well, I was given your name to come in and talk to you about some things that I want to purchase. Are you available tonight? Uh, no, I, I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to just sit up here. Like I'm, I'm hiding in the back room, like in the storeroom and I'm up on a shelf. I'm just hiding back oh, here. And I'm like eating. Elf on the Shelf. Huh? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> well, and I'm are gonna, you going to be in there tomorrow? Well, I pretty much just dodge all my work duties every day. So why don't you just uh, get someone else to help you? Oh, okay then. Well, thank you very kindly. Okay, I love you, ma'am. That must have been like you know someone related to that guy that lived behind. Was it Home Depot? Yeah, it must have been Home Depot. That guy decided to have his mom call in and trick me a good one. Get me to come out of hiding. Here's another call coming in. Don't know who it is. Hello, Gersperm residents. Hello, who am I speaking with? Gers- oh, this is Carol Gersperms. <clears throat> Hi, my name is, do you, am I speaking with, is Troy Ian today? Uh, who's Troy? Oh, you, you're probably talking about my son. He's probably making prank calls to you. Who's this? What is your son's? What is your son's name? Oh, well, he's only 13. You don't need to be calling here and asking what a 13-year-old's name is. Oh, I'm sorry about that. No, I'm. <clears throat> we have a customer, um, and your son is calling, um, stating as if he uh, works at Home Depot, and I am the Home Depot manager. Oh, okay. And, yes, and he's calling neighbors in the neighborhood, stating that he works at Home Depot, and... Um, and now we got some emails because there's been customer care calls that has happened. Uh-huh. Um, and these customers are now thinking that we are calling, speaking in a very rude and profane manner. Oh, mul- um, multiple, multiple people, huh? Yeah. Well, that's weird because my son only called one person that had his, the, his backyard was to uh, Home Depot. Yeah. And, and told him to stop dumping his trash over there. So I think you're full okay. of shit. It's not multiple people. It was just one person. You're trying to okay, blow well, this all I, out of proportion. Well, what I'm saying is I've gotten multiple emails in re, in this regard from, from one this person situation. Okay, so yes, it's from one person, but I just wanted to close. Look the gap at you, at, just trying to make a mountain out of a mole mole hill, mole hill, mole okay. hill. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it was my son. He was, he's making prank calls, and it was a funny prank call. I was in the other room folding laundry, and I heard him heard him do the call, and the guy got really mad. And then, and then I think the guy's mom called back, and she tried to uh, trick him into uh, asking him where he was working at. It was his. Uh, it was the guy's wife, I believe. But okay, thank you. I appreciate oh, she this. sounded really okay, old, we, as if she was his mother. <clears throat> okay, so I, I would just make sure, um, you know, just from a liability perspective, we're not setting the wrong expectation for our, for you know just people in general. You know, I, I can't can tell you how to control your house, but. Um, you mean a person, you know, not people, just a person. Okay. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Have a nice day. <laughs> I love you. What the hell? That guy's trying to make this a federal case or something. I just called one person. He's like, oh, we're getting all these complaints from all these people. I got so many emails. That was some top-notch investigative work he did, though. I loved his big reveal that he was actually working at the Home Depot. I didn't see that coming. Hello. Hello, Lawrence. Yes. Hey, it's your neighbor. It's Roy. I was in your backyard last night. Yeah. And um, I was wondering, did you happen to see my uh, small stack of floppy disks laying out there on the grass? I think I left my floppy disks behind. Why would you be on my lawn tonight? I didn't see anybody out there. Oh, uh, well, I was out there late last night, like three or four in the morning. I'm probably going to come out there again tonight. But I can't find my floppy disks anywhere. Why were you out on my lawn at night? Oh, uh, I was hacking into people's home computers, you know, through their Wi-Fi, and I was getting really good reception in your backyard. If you're that, why why would you have floppy disks if you're that up to date with stuff? Oh no, no, no! A hacker doesn't just keep his stuff on the hard drive. Uh, no, it goes straight to floppy disks. Those are my log why files. Wouldn't it go, why wouldn't it go to a to a one of those things they stick in the side of your computer? Oh no, no, it has to be a floppy disk. If you're a hacker, you use floppy disks. Like I don't want to get busted by the cops. 
Well, you want to go out my backyard tonight and look for it? Be my guest. I'm not going out there, and I haven't seen anything. Okay. Well, did you? Were you out there earlier? Did you look around? No, I wasn't. Okay. Well, don't get mad at me. I'm just trying to find well, my. Well, nobody was out there in the backyard, and you're telling me you want to? You're, you're you're cracking into people's computers. Yeah, but it's just like at three in the morning from your backyard. Like nobody's out there. I'm not bothering anybody. Well, whose computer are you, are you hacking into? I don't know. Just random neighbors. I'm just seeing what all's on their computers, and I'm looking through their webcams to see what's inside their house. Well. And uh, last night when I was out there and you get caught by the cops, it'll be fine. If you want, I'll call them. No, don't looking for you. Don't do that. No, no, nobody's looking for me. What are you talking about? Oh, we lost him. This is probably a terrible idea now that I think about it, because normally when I'm in somebody's backyard, I'm not bothering anything. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just back there smoking weed and listening to my music, maybe installing a trail cam up in the trees, maybe polishing the trees with some lemon scented pledge or dusting off the leaves, you know, completely innocent stuff like that. But now I'm bringing computer hacking into it all where they actually have a reason to call the police. But that was fun for a while, wasn't it? I thought so. I hope you all enjoyed it. I think I'm going to quit right there and we're going to listen to some voicemails. All right. I just listened to your newest uh, snowplow show. I'm behind on shows. Sorry, I, I've been busy. It's okay. Trying to go over 30 seconds, only five seconds over. I'm trying. All right. Good job. Okay, Brad. You, you know, half of your message was not there, I think. I think there was like 20 seconds of silence. The whole beginning was cut off. We'll never know what you were saying. Oh, well. Oh, hey, Brad. How you doing? It's Corbin. Hey. Happy Halloween and all the other merriments. Hey. And say, I heard from a little birdie that you're no longer on probation. That's awesome. Congratulations. It's true. Maybe we can meet up over at Lobby and Zula's for some food and drop some acid and head up to the Ross Island Bridge and okay. uh, throw eggs at the... Uh, uh, at the, at the cars, you know, drop some acid, throw eggs at the cars on the freeway. Yeah. yeah. It sounds like fun, huh? The best. Okay. I'll see you soon. Bye. One of my favorite activities. How did you know? Yeah, Brad, this is Dieter from Granite. I finally tracked you down. I'm coming for your underwear. Oh no. Stay the fuck away from my underwear, Dieter. Hello, Roy. Hey. Frank the Monkey Boy here. Hello. I was just listening to, uh, the hotel, hotel, uh, prank call where you're, uh, you're calling and you're like, I've uh, hacked into your computer, you see naked, smoking cigarettes, whatever. And it occurred to me that it'd be a great idea that you could just call these motels up and say, hey, and think of something controversial that you left there and ask if anybody return it to them. And then while they're still on the phone, like, my like grandpa. play knocking sounds. And like you're going door to door because they seem to really get riled up when you said you were going to look for the naked girl or whatnot, especially if you're calling late at night. Yeah. So you wouldn't have to give a room number. Probably be able to get good calls that way. Okay. But yeah, just call and say, yeah, I got to go. I'm, I'm going to go check this door out. Boom, 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 whatever. Give it a shot. Okay. Break out. Back away. That was a long voicemail. There was a lot in there. Hey, Bradley, what you doing? Hey. This is Justin from West of the Rockies, and I'm just calling in. I'm enjoying hey. the show with some nuggets from McDonald's, and uh, I'm watching Ooh, nuggets. episode 408 from 2017. Okay. All right. So that's what I'm doing, but what are you doing? I'm listening to voicemails. Damn it. Well, thank you so much for making my night. All right, bye, Justin. Enjoy those nuggets. Hey, Brad. Jason Big Meat here. Hey. I had a quick question. I was thinking of one of the old podcasts you were talking about where you and a couple of other people were talking to some author lady, and she was mad about some talking to her. There was a prisoner. Um, what the fuck are you talking like about? He was a dog, and her book was helping him do it. I don't know, something along those lines. But you guys made her think that she was being interviewed. I was wondering if you knew the name of it, but love the show. Keep up the good work. Bye. That doesn't sound familiar to me at all. But hopefully you know about shitbradsays.com. I mean, I don't know if it would show up in there, though. I don't know if he puts the phone show into his weird archive thing. But if he does, you could try and use shitbradsays.com. Hey, Brad. 
Hey. Will here, calling from North Carolina. Yeah. Um, used to listen to the show a ton over the past few years. Recently switched jobs, left me a lot less time to listen to podcasts and the like. But Bullshit. recently been getting back into the show a lot. And uh, recently did rediscovered the song, What City Please? The song yeah. he made, RBCT. And I want to know the history on that. I, I don't know if you have a link or can play the uh, original calls to the operators asking, okay, or what's the story there? Because it's a really fucking good song. And um, <laughs> I'll play the the prank thing, you know, like on the beginning of today's show. I'll try to remember to make that the prank call for the beginning of the show. I've got it stuck in my head. But, uh, good. Yeah. Just keep up the good work, Brad. Glad okay. to see you're still going strong, man. Um, much love. Later. Thanks, Will. Man, why are there so many voicemails? I can't do all this tonight. Hey, man, this is a Federal Bureau of the Internet. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter at all. Um, I was just calling to ask you about, uh, um, what, what is it? Brad and Stacy in the morning. Whatever happened to that? Like, we need some more of that, uh... Right now. That, that's all. Um, otherwise, we're going to have to put out a warrant for your arrest. Sorry. I don't want that. That's it. I- Stacy's not into pranks. There's nothing I can do. Sorry. We did a reunion show, like, I don't know, a couple of years ago. It was fun. It was okay. Bradley. Hey. Bradley. Sorry. Uh, hey, it's Kyle uh, Finito. It's Finito. Not it's Finito. Uh, so, quick question. I was listening. I'm a little bit behind on shows. And about two shows ago, you were talking about the Carlito episode where you basically sat on a box and then he was a lawyer and then you passed the phone call to him. And you were telling everybody to look that song up on uh, that phone call up on tw- uh, Twitch, Twitter, whatever the hell it is. I but know. I love that call. And I want to hear your part of it. Where's the beginning of the call where you were talking to the guy? Because I, I listened to that whole Mad Life episode. Oh, okay. I just realized what you're even talking about. I remember I posted my call. Wasn't my call in that video that you're talking about? Or maybe there was a second call for me. I can't even remember now. I know something wasn't included in the Madhouse video. And I want to hear your part before you give him that phone call. Whenever you say, hey, I'm sitting on a box. Because I have yet to hear your part. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Finito. I thought that was in the video. So, I don't know, like, find the video and see what date the video was made on. Or, I mean, in the description, it should tell you what date the show happened. And then look through my archive and find the same date that did a prank call show. It'll be easy to listen to that. Good day, Mr. Carter. My name is Israel Bombalatu. I'm calling from the collections department of Spencer's Gifts. appears as if on uh, November 5th, 2016, you made an order for a custom t-shirt. T-shirt states, uh, they call me 007, zero convictions, zero FBI raids, and seven-inch penis. Uh, yeah. uh, we're going to need you to pay for that. It's, it's been six years, but uh, if, if you don't if you don't contest this back as soon as possible, we may have to break your legs. Goodbye. Well, shit. What do you mean zero FBI raids, though? I got raided once, and I was convicted once. Wouldn't I be 117? With my seven-inch penis. Hi, Brad. This is the front desk. Hello. Uh, I'm calling because I'm looking for posters. Like, I want to buy some phone posters. Toasters? And I see lots of things to buy, but I don't see posters. Maybe I'm, I'm an idiot, but are there posters for sale? If so, let us know. Yeah. Thanks, Brad. Love you. Bye. Okay, I think you're saying posters. Your connection was really bad. But all there is is that... Nick Caesar poster, and I think it's on Zazzle. And here, let me see if I can figure out where my store is, since they changed all the URLs and stuff. Here it is, Zazzle.com slash store slash phone losers slash products. That's where you can find Nick Caesar's poster that I put together, and I just pretty much cut out all of Nick Caesar's art and put it together on one poster. And it's a lot of stuff. If any of you are interested in a Phone Losers of America poster with artwork by Nick Caesar, I will have a link in the show description. You know what else you can buy in the PLA store? You can buy a PLA deck of cards with amazing artwork by Clownsec. You can buy a bunch of stickers and bumper stickers and bandanas. All right, that's enough of advertising of my Zazzle. 
I will try to put that link in the show description, but if not, just go to zazzle.com slash store slash phone loser slash products. That's where you go. Okay, one more voicemail. That guy was asking for posters, right? Or was he asking for toasters? It was kind of hard to hear him. Yo, Brad, it's Polly from the 425. Hey. Uh, I love listening to the Snowplow show when I'm at work. Uh, I'm an IT guy, and uh, I'm not very good at being an IT guy, but I've been an IT guy for like five years, and uh, the Snowplow show gets me through the day. Yay. And uh, I got to say, one of my favorite things. Happy to help you defraud your company by not being a good IT guy to them and listening to my show. I guess that's not fraud. Okay, I'm sorry. Is uh, when you tell somebody to tell that person in the background to shut the fuck up because it makes people go from zero to fucking pissed off so quick. Yeah, and I love that. I love it when you piss people off, Brad. Why, it thank you. Life. Thank you. I hope I pissed off enough people in today's episode, like all these people here in the voicemail who I'm not playing their voicemails because there are so many of them. I'll get to it next time, though. Thanks, everyone, for the voicemails. Thank you, Lord and Lady of Veggies, Plaz, Britton, Jamie F., and Fun Society Arcade for being the sponsors of this episode over at patreon.com slash phone losers. If you got back pain that you can't explain, say hell yeah. Hell yeah. And if your shoulders hurt, even though you're a nurse, say hell yeah. Hey. You're calling the wrong number. This is a home. Oh.